So we're back working on style sheets. Now the whole thing about a style sheet is that it, what it does is it makes it so that your site is very uniform looking without you having to constantly be changing the um, colors and the size and everything. So they'll have like an H1, which is like a header one or an H2 or a, you know, a, a text and they'll set it up like the text is going to be this size and it's going to be this color and this kind of header, the subheader is going to be this size and this color. So your style sheet is just telling your website exactly what you want it always to look like. And then when you're putting posts in and you're putting pages in, you can say I want this to be H1, I want this to be H2, I want this section to be text, and it'll, um, it'll make everything very uniform and nice looking. So what I usually do is I'm looking at my site and there was this KLB Cakes thing I didn't like up here. So what I did was I went into um, I went into my settings and I just deleted both the blog title and the tagline and that caused that to go away up here. Another way to do it is to go into the style sheet and get rid of the part that says to actually write the name and the tag up here. But for now, that just was the easiest way for me to do it. So the thing I don't like in here currently is that these are blue. And I think I want to change them to pink. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my style sheet, and that's always under Appearance and Editor. Now that we're in Editor, there's all these different things I can change. I can change my footer. I can change things about the header, which is probably where I could have gotten rid of that um, you know, say something at the top, it's somewhere in here. Um, and then, but I like always to go down here, you'll see your style sheet. So your style sheet is, you know, this is the theme name, this is who did it for you, this is um, to replace the banner image, they're telling you how to do that, which we already did, blah, blah. Now this is a lot, as you can see, I mean, it just goes on and on, and if you don't know, um, code HTML code it can look really confusing but and here's what I do because I didn't know a whole lot of HTML code when I started messing around with style sheets so what I paid attention to is okay this is about the body and the sizes and the background color and so I'm gonna go into my Adobe Photoshop I'm gonna double click on that so I can see what my RGB color is and what this color is and I'm gonna write it down so it's 96, 161, and it's E, B, 6, O, A, 1. Okay, so now I'm going to minimize this, and I'm going to go in, and what I want actually is that side bar. So I'm looking down here, and I'm seeing image border, colors, let's see. I'm going to try and find it. Wrapper, masthead blog title, tagline. And I could probably get rid of that, and that's what would have gotten rid of that. Um, in fact, I might try that later to see if it works. Main content. So we don't really care too much about that because I'm kind of happy with that right now. What I'm looking for is like a secondary content. Let's see. Oh, sidebar. This is good. Sidebar. Color. Sidebar. Font. Sidebar. Headers. Aha! Headers. Okay. So... I'm going to remember that I was in here in case I totally mess it up and this is not what I wanted to do. I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to control X because then I can control V if I didn't like it. And I'm going to put my color in which was EB60A1. And I'm going to update the file. Now I'm going to look at my site and see if I fixed it right. And I did. So see, now these colors have changed. If I had not fixed it and I was and I messed up something else I didn't want to be pink, I would just go back in. I would find exactly where it was right here. I would delete this back and I would push Control V and update the file and it would go exactly back to the way it is. So what I always like to do and what's really going to help you out is when you start messing with style sheets and especially with things that you don't know a ton about, what you need to do is maybe open a Word document and copy anything that you're going to change into it and then change it and if you don't like it you can just copy it right back out of WordPress and make it back to the way it was. Another option is to take the style sheet and save it on your computer 
as the original style sheet. So if you totally mess the thing up, you can just put your original one back on and start over. And that just really helps with a lot of stress because there's a lot of very um, specific things that, you know, you mess up one number and now your whole site has gone haywire. So um, I'm going to go mess around with a couple other things in the style sheet and then we'll come back and we'll start working on the navigation.